If you've got a spare 14 million and are looking to splash out on a 40 metre Sunseeker yacht, then this is the place to come. As the 54th annual Tullet Prebon London Boat Show opens its doors at the Royal Victoria Dock in London, the organisers are preparing for a bumper year with the mega wealthy and bankers' bonuses helping to fuel sales of luxury items. Others are simply here to admire the gleaming super yachts or have a go at some water sports, but it's clear everyone would like a piece of the glamour. We see one or two boats we like, but we're worried we about our them. bank manager. <laughs> With 500 exhibitors, 1,000 boats on show, as well as support from the RNLI and Royal Navy, the London Boat Show is a major money spinner. Despite a 6.2% drop in revenue, the largest boat show in the UK is a shining reminder of how the marine industry is weathering the financial storm. I think we're all keen to have a, a, a positive outlook now that we've got through the banking crisis and we're sort of moving towards a, a bit more growth, um, for, which would be great for all of us, will not it? So, yeah, that's, that's all good. With bankers' bonuses expected to be worth £7 billion, sales of yachts, sports cars, property and other luxury items are expected to soar, and the boat show is keen to grab their share. Making its world debut, the Princess 32m superyacht is the largest boat ever to be displayed inside of the XL Centre, but with a price tag in the millions, it's only for those with the cash to spend on luxury items. Princess and uh, Sunseeker, the bigger of the motorboats, uh, have been doing quite well, and of course the bankers' bonuses uh, that have been recently paid have probably had quite an impact on that. But there has been outrage this week at the excessive bonuses paid to bankers by a cash-strapped public. Stephen Hesser, Chief Executive of the Royal Bank of Scotland, is said to be receiving a bonus package worth up to £6.8 million. and the government's recent backtracking on a commitment to rein in bonuses has not helped. Either way, city workers are still raking in the cash and exhibitors at the London Boat Show, at least, are reaping the rewards as sales of luxury items continue to keep the marine industry afloat. But for those on a budget, or who would rather have a splash around than empty out your wallet, there's plenty to keep you and the family busy. And Paul is at the forefront of the show's entertainment. Do you know why pirates are called pirates? Uh, no, they all... just because they are! are. <laughs> Taking three days to fill and containing 1.8 million litres of water, around 1,500 guests have enjoyed the 70 metre water sports pool, courtesy of our very own Rockley Sports Park, based right here in Poole. So we've become involved as uh, one of two companies providing instruction on the pool so people can have a go at sailing, at windsurfing, at pad stand up paddle boarding and, and kayaking uh, in the sessions between the live shows basically. As the London Boat Show comes to a close, the Southampton Boat Show is just around the corner. And as the UK continues to battle rising debt, this year's lavish trade show at least will bring with it a much needed boost to a flagging economy. But for now, it seems that the marine industry is as buoyant as ever. This is Lauren May at the London Boat Show for Up to Speed News.